You're listening to Texas Top Homes. I'm your host, Tracy Wiesman. With me is my co-host, Joe Healy. Today, we're chatting with one of Texas top brokers, Erica Alvarez with Vibrant Real Estate. Erica, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. So, Erica, I know a, a specialty of Vibrant is really negotiations, and that's a that's really a big part of what you do to help your buyers. Can you give us an idea of some of the things that can and maybe some that cannot be negotiated on an offer? You know, a lot of things are, are are negotiable in a contract. I mean, there's so many different facets that I could a- explain so many different ways to configure something to make it work. Um, you know, in the end, it has to be lucrative to the situation and every sure. single transaction is different. So, of course, the big one is going to be price. You know, you're going to be able to move on the price right now. So many things in the Metroplex are going over asking. Um, you know, that's a that's a big one. Um, another one that I've I've really suggested to my agents right now is to pay for closing costs. Um, you know, it's it's roughly one percent of the mm-hmm. of the cost of the pro- of the property. And I feel like it's definitely something that can give you a leg up oftentimes in a transaction um you know your home warranty is something that i feel that is not negotiable some people leave it off of a contract but what a lot of people um don't understand is that doesn't just protect the buyer but it also protects the seller sure um and without boring you with you know the the texas real estate uh you know rule book per se um i'll just i'll just say it very clearly that you know, a seller represents a property in a certain condition. And in the event that something breaks or doesn't work properly, that home warranty is going to fill the void. So you want to protect both sides of the transaction. In my opinion, I feel that a home warranty is not something that's negotiable. You can leave it off of a contract. I just wouldn't advise it. And I would definitely tell your realtor not to not to leave it off of sure. a contract. I love that you touched on the fact about um, offering to pay for the seller's closing costs. Because I'm sure a lot of our listeners aren't familiar, but here at Skyline, we actually offer buyers up to $5,000 in closing cost assistance that they can use as they need to, which they can actually use that money to help pay the seller's closing costs. Absolutely. So really, you if they're using us as their lender and you present the offer to the sellers and gonna they're going to cover the seller's closing costs, it's, it's really us that's helping them do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a great leveraging tool, um, and it, and it's something that all of our all of our buyers are incentivized with and get very excited about for the simple fact that they've got this extra money to el- actually help them win that bid. Sure. You know, and right now with the multiple offer situations that we have, any tool is is an asset right now. Erica, if somebody wants to get in touch with you or your team about buying a house, what's your website and phone number? So our website's going to be vibrantrealestate.com, and you're going to reach us at 469. 469- 209-5488.